Domine labia mea perries. Tetus meum annuncia bit laudem tuam. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who redeemed us with his blood. Venite exutemus domi, Domino, jubilemus Deus salutare nostro. Preoccupemus facem eius in confessione, et in samis jubilemus ei. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who redeemed us with his blood. Coniam Deus manius dominus, et res manius super omnes Deus, quia in manu eius un profunda tere, et autitudines monsium ipsius sunt. Coniam ipsius et mare tipse feci dilut, et seca manus eius forma verum. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who redeemed us with his blood. Venite et urimus et procidamus, et genua flectamus ante dominum qui fecit nos, quia ipses Deus noster, et nos populus pasque ius et oves manus eius. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who redeemed us with his blood. Utinam hodie foce meius saudiotis, nolite obdura recorda vestra, sicut in meriba secundum diamas in deserto, ubi tenta verutem e patris vestri, Proba verunt me esse viderunt opera mea. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who redeemed us with his blood. Quatra cinta niste duet me generationis ilius, et dixi populus serantium corde sunt isti. Et ipsi non cunio ferunt vias meas, ideo iura vinira mea, non intruibunt in requiem meam. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who redeemed us with his blood. Gloria Patria Filio, Espiritu e Santo, sicuderat in principio et nunc e sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the Son of God, who redeemed us with his blood. Sider reader go so beaten to see the nails and cruel spear as they pierce Christ's sacred body, blood and water flowed in streams, which would cleanse the whole creation, giving life to all and teach. Faithful cross beyond all others, noble tree of priceless worth, never forest was productive of such blossom leaf or seed. Honored wood and nails more honored, Christ has burden to sustain. Bent your branches, tree exalted, 
Make your tongue and gentle beat. Change the heart and reach it nature. Up the strength you raise on high. To receive the holy members of your dying Lord and King. You alone were chosen worthy, love's oblation to behold. For the lamb bedewed your fibers, with the blood divine he shed. You revealed the sinner's haven, in a world condemned to die. Equal glory be forever to the Father and the Son, to the Holy Spirit also, blessed Trinity in world. Love and mercy, grace together, ransom and preserve our soul. Amen. Earthly kings rise up in revolt. Princes conspire together against the Lord and his anointed. Why this tumult among nations, among peoples, this useless murmuring? They arise, the kings of the earth. Princes plot against the Lord and his anointed. Come, let us break the fetters. Come, let us cast off the yoke. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord is laughing them to scorn. Then he will speak in his anger. His rage will strike them with terror. It is I who have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will announce the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. With the rod of iron you will break them. Shatter them like a potter's jar. Now, O kings, understand. Take warning, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with all. In trembling, pay him your homage, for, lest he be angry and to perish. For suddenly his anger will blaze. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Earthly kings rise up in a revolt. Princes conspire together against the Lord and his anointed. They divided my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You are far from my plea and the cry of my distress. O oh my God, I call by night and you give no reply. I call by night and I find no peace. Yet you, O oh God, are holy. 
enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers put their trust, they trusted and you set them free. When they cried to you, they escaped, in you they trusted and never in vain. But I am a worm and no man, shorn by men, despised by the people. All who say me, they write me, they curl their lips, they toss their heads. They trusted in the Lord, let him save him, let him release him if this is his friend. Yet it was you who took me from the womb, entrusted me to my mother's breast. To you I was committed from my birth, from my mother's womb you have been my God. Do not leave my, me alone in my distress, come close, there is none else to help. Many bulls have surrounded me, fierce bulls of Bashan close me in. Against me they open wide their jaws, like lions rending and roaring. Like water I am poured out, disjointed are all my bones. My heart is become like wax, it is melted within my breast. Marched as burnt clay is my throat, my tongue cleaves to my jaws. Many dogs have surrounded me, a band of the wicked beset me. They tear holes in my hands and my feet, and lay me in the dust of death. I can count every one of my bones. These people stare at me and gloat. They divide my clothing among them. They cast lots for my robe. O oh Lord, do not leave me alone. My strength make haste to help me. Rescue my soul from the sword my life from the grip of these dogs. Save my life from the jaws of these lions, my poor soul from the horns of these oxen. I will tell of your name to my brethren and praise you where they are assembled. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. They divided my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. They sought to take my life by violence. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me, Lord, in your rage. Your arrows have sunk deep in me. Your hand has come down upon me. Through your anger, all oh my body is sick. Through my sin, there is no health in my limbs. My guilt towers higher than my head. It is a weight too heavy to bear. My wounds are foul and festering, the result of my own folly. I am bowed and brought to my knees. I go mourning all the day long. All my frame burns with fever, all my body is sick. Spent and utterly crushed, I cry aloud in anguish of heart. O oh Lord, you know all my longing, 
My groans are not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength is spent. The very light has gone from my eyes. My friends avoid me like a leper. Those closest to me stand far off. Those who plot against my life lay snares. Those who seek my ruin speak of harm, planning treachery all the day long. But I am like a deaf who cannot hear, like the dumb unable to speak. I am like a man who hears nothing, in whose mouth is no defense. I count on you, O Lord, it is you, Lord God, who will answer. I pray, do not let them mock me. Those who triumph, if my foot should slip. For I am on the point of falling, and my pain is always before me. I confess that I am guilty. And my sin fills me with dismay. My wanton enemies are numberless, and my lying foes are many. They repay me evil for good, and attack me for seeking what is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. My God, do not stay afar off. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my God, my Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. They sought to take my life by violence. They brought false evidence against me. They were breathing out fury. Tabi Dominus Dissipare Murum Filiae Sio Tetendi Funiculum Sum Et non avertit Manum Suam A perdicione Luxique Atemurale Et morus pariter dissipatus est. Tet. De fixe sunt in terra porte eus. Perdidit e contribit vectes eus. Rege meus e principes eius ingentibus. Non es lex e profete eius non in venerunt visionem a domino. Io Sederunt in terra, conticuerunt senes filiae sio. Conspeserunt cinere, capitatu sua, acinctis un cilicis. Abiecerunt in terram capita sua virgines Jerusalem. Caf. Defecerunt 
Tre lacrimi soculi mei, conturbata sunt viscera mea. E fusum es in terra iecur meum, super contritione fi, filie populi mei. Cum deficere Pavulus et lactens lacteis opidi. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, convertere ad dominum deum tu. My friends have forsaken me, and those who lay in ambush for me have prepared against me. One whom I loved has betrayed me. And with terrifying looks they have inflicted cruel wounds on me, and have given me vinegar to drink. They have cast me out among the wicked, and have not spared my life. And with terrifying looks they have inflicted cruel wounds on me, and have given me vinegar to drink. Amen. Matribus suis dixerum, ubi est triticum et vinum, cum deficerent quasi vulnerati, in plateis civitati. Cum exalerent anima sua, in sinu matrum suarum. Mehem, cui comparabo te, vel cui assimilabo te, Filiha Jerusalem, cui exequabo te, e consolabo te, Virgo Filiha Siho. Magna esenim velut mare contritio tua, Quis me debitur tui. Profete tui viderum tibi falsa et stulta, ne caperi ebant iniquitatem tuam, Utea penitensi ham provocarent. Viderunt autem tibi, assumpciones falsas, et ejecciones. Same. Plauserum super te manibus, omnes transe huntes per viam. Sibil haverum et moverum caput sum, 
Superfiliam Jerusalem. Et in Jesus dicentes, perfectit decoris, gaudium univers eterne. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, convertere a dominum deum tu. out from weeping are my eyes. Far from me are all who could console me. See all you nations. Whether there is any suffering like my suffering. Oh, all who pass by the way, look and see. Fecit pelem meam, et carnem meam, contrividos a meam. Bet. Edificavit in giro meo, et circum dedit me felle et labore. Colocavit me, quasi mortuo sempiter nos. Gimme, circum edificavit me adversum me, ut non egredia, agravavit compedem meu. Sed et cum clama vero et roga vero, exclusit oratione meam. Gime, conclusit vias meas lapidibus quadris, Semitas me as subverti. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, convertere a dominum deum tu.
Yes, against the robber you have come out with swords and clubs to seize me. I sat daily with you in the temple teaching, and you did not lay your hands on me. And now when you have scourged me, you lead me away to be crucified. And when they had laid hands on Jesus and told him, he said to them, I sat daily with you in the temple teaching, and you did not lay your hands on me. And now when you have scourged me, you lead me away to be crucified. A reading from the Catechesis by St. John Chrysostom, Bishop. If we wish to understand the power of Christ's blood, we should go back to the ancient account of its prefiguration in Egypt. Sacrifice a lamb without blemish, commanded Moses, and sprinkle its blood on your doors. If we were to ask him what he meant and how the blood of an irrational beast could possibly save men endowed with reason, his answer would be that the saving power lies not in the blood itself, but in the fact that it is a sign of the Lord's blood. In those days, when the destroying angel saw the blood on the doors, he did not dare to enter. So how much less will the devil approach now when he sees not that figurative blood on the doors, but the true blood on the lips of believers, the doors of the temple of Christ. If you desire further proof of the power of this blood, remember where it came from and how it ran down from the cross, flowing from the master's side. The gospel records that when Christ was dead, but still hung on the cross, a soldier came and pierced his side with the lance and immediately there poured out water and blood. Now the water was a symbol of baptism and the blood of the Holy Eucharist. The soldier pierced the Lord's side. He breached the wall of the sacred temple and I have found the treasure and made it my own. So also with the lamb, the Jews sacrificed the victim and I have been saved by it. There flowed from his side water and blood. Beloved, do not pass over this mystery without thought. It has yet another hidden meaning, which I will explain to you. I said that water and blood symbolized baptism and the Holy Eucharist. From these two sacraments, the church is born. From baptism, the cleansing water that gives rebirth and renewal through the Holy Spirit, and from the Holy Eucharist, since the symbols of baptism and the Eucharist flowed from his side, it was from his side that Christ fashioned the church. As he had fashioned Eve from the side of Adam, Moses gives a hint of this when he tells the story of the first man and makes him exclaim, bone from my bones and flesh from my flesh. As God then took a rib from Adam's side to fashion a woman, so Christ has given us blood and water from his side to fashion the church. God took the rib when Adam was in a deep sleep, and in the same way, Christ gave us the blood and the water after his own death. Do you understand then how Christ has united his bride to himself and what food he gives us all to eat? By one and the same food, we are both brought into being and nourished. As a woman nourishes her child with her own blood and milk, 
so does Christ unceasingly nourish with his own blood those to whom he himself has given life. The price of your redemption was not something of fleeting value like gold or silver, but the costly shedding of the blood of Christ, the Lamb with the blemish. Through him in the one spirit, we can approach the Father. The blood of Jesus Christ washes away all our sins. Through him in the one spirit, we can approach the Father. God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to suffer for our sake. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be with the reproach when you judge. Oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. Oh, purify me, then I shall be claimed. Oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. If you are created, create for me, O God, Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor sustain me. That I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. Who rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, but offering for me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spare. In your goodness, show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, of the costs offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God did, did not spare his, his own Son, son but gave him up, up to suffer for our sake. Jesus Christ loved us and poured out his own blood for us to wash away our sins. O Lord, I have heard your renown. 
and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Taman, the Holy One from Malparan. Covered are the heavens with his glory, and with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside him where his power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment. Though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no hurt in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exalt in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus Christ, let us and poured out his own blood for us to wash away our sins. We worship you, your cross, O Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For the word of the cross has brought a joy to the world. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem, Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with fine, finer sweet. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters for first like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt us with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We worship your cross, O Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For the word of the cross has brought joy to the world.
See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred was his look beyond that of man, and his appearance beyond that of mortals. So shall he startle many nations. Because of him, kings shall stand speechless. For those who have not been told shall see. Those who have not heard shall ponder it. Seek Christ with obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. For our sake, Christ was obedient, accepting even death, death on a cross. Over his set had hung the accusation. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, Benedictus Dominus Deus Israel, Quia Fisitua Vida Fritit Redemption in Plebisui. Et erexit cornus salutis nobis, in domo navit pueri sui. Secut locutus esperus sanctorum, quia seculo sunt profitorum eius. Salutem ex inimicis nostris, et emanu omnium qui hoderunt nos. Et faciendam misericordiam cum patribus nostri, et memora testamente sui sancti. Ius jurandum quod jura vita ad Abraham patrem nostrum, datorum se nobis. Sus in vete morete manu in minicorum nostrorum liberati, se veamos ili. In sanctitate et justicia coram hipso, omnibus diebus nostris. Et tu prove profeta altissimi vocaberis, prebis senimante faciem domini parere fia seius. Ad dandam sciem siam salutis plebi eius, in remissionem peccatorum eorum. Perficera misericordiae Dei nostri, in quibus visitavit nos oriens exalto. Illumina reis qui in tenebris et in umbra mortis sedem, ad dirigendos pedes nostros in viam pacis. Gloria Patria Filio, Espiritu e Santo, Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Over his said they from the accusation, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews,
love upon your people, the love which our Lord Jesus Christ showed us when he delivered himself to evil men and suffered the agony of the cross, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 